Butler from 13 yards out. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. Bailey now for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And the kick goes outside the white lines. That's why the flag comes out. Yes, and that was an error by the kicker, and it will give the offense great starting field position. is Wentz, escaping the pressure right, and he finds a man on the crossing round. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off, able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. First down, Wentz. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. On second down, Ryan Matthews. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. From the gun on third down, wins. Finding time. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Wentz going to go on fourth down. Dancing to his left. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They... the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. They begin the drive with Morris. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They come out here in the eye. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. They'll run it. Here's McFadden. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, 
you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. A first down throw for Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 15 yards on the pick up there. And that leads to a Dallas first down. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Prescott on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Give him 11 on the game there. And it'll be first down, Cowboys. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. And they're going to go soft on the corners. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's the linebacker, Michael Kendricks. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And in this situation with a lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Aguilar has it. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy. This is caught inside the 15. Give him 30 yards there. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. So they're on the five-yard line here, second down and goal. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. When that works, your offensive coordinator looks like a genius. When it doesn't, at least folks saying, what are you doing? Down here, I'd rather have my tailback running off tackle. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They come up in an offset eye. Wentz now on third and goal. This will be caught at about the six. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Well, they're going to try this thing. They're at the five, fourth and goal. They're going to go for it. We'll see run, probably pass to both in the arsenal. The running play does not work from the five on fourth and goal. And instead of having a one-score game, they'll remain two scores down. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? 
having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that part. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Their dangerous wide receiver, 93 yards. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. Well, they were back in the shadows of their own goal post, and that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, a conservative, easy call. Run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away, but no, let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, your natural inclination is to try and really force them back, and sometimes they get burned that way. And they got burned there. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow him to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. They go play action for Matthews. Now wins. He finds Aguilar over the middle. A very solid gain of 27. And we continue to see another example here of offenses just going for it. And this game has really turned into a receiver's dream and a defender's nightmare because no one's being stopped throwing the ball downfield and points are going on the board. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. He dropped an eight. Where are you going to go with the football? Got a man, and he hits him in stride. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Carr. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Des Bryant, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, 
hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And Philadelphia ready to get 